Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you some of my favorite floral fragrances for spring. You guys know I love fruity floral fragrances, I love fruity fragrances, but I also love just a straight up floral. And honestly, for spring, that's my go-to. I love smelling like flowers in the spring. And a lot of these, I wanna say most of these fragrances are white floral fragrances. I know a lot of you guys don't love rose as much as I do. Maybe one or two has like a little bit of rose in it because you know you can't really compose that many fragrances and leave out the rose because the rose is just that girl, I'm just saying. But a lot of these fragrances are white floral fragrances. So if you want to smell like beautiful flowers this spring, then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure that red button turns gray. Tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you love my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. So the first fragrance on the list is this beautiful angelic scent by Creed Love in White. Guys, it's such a beautiful bottle. It's so classy. I absolutely love the aesthetic of this bottle. Now, with this fragrance, let me just say this, okay? I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. This on my skin does something a little funky that I'm not feeling. I don't know if it's the ambergris. Let me say the notes really quickly. So there's orange peel, there's rice, magnolia, narcissus, Italian jasmine, iris, Bulgarian rose, ambergris, sandalwood, and vanilla. Out of these notes, other than the rice, the note that sticks out to me the most that I think is doing something funky on my skin is that ambergris, okay? It's a very animalic type of note, but the thing is, smelling this fragrance out the nozzle and actually spraying it on my clothes, it's a beautiful experience. But when I spray it on my skin, like I said, there's something, and I'm thinking it's that ambergris that's causing it to do something funky on my skin. And honestly, the fragrance or wearing a fragrance and having something smell funky, it's just not making any sense. And I have to make it make sense. So in order for me to make it make sense, this gets sprayed on my clothes. On my clothes, I love it. It's a beautiful, floral, citrusy fragrance that is amazing on my clothes. On my skin, it's something with my body chemistry and possibly the ambergris or maybe the rice. But no, actually not the rice because there's a rice note in my um, Hillian fragrance, Moonlight in Heaven, and it doesn't do anything to me. That fragrance is beautiful on me. But I'm gonna say it's the ambergris because this fragrance is just too pure and too beautiful and too angelic to have something so animalic in it. And like I said, it could just be my skin, but it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. I absolutely love it. I did not pay for this. I was sent this fragrance by the fragrance group. If you're interested in it, you can save 20% on soavantgarde.com using my discount code, thegreat20. Now, saying all that, it's a beautiful scent. It's spring in a bottle, okay? It's so florally, it's so light, it's so airy, it's so citrusy. It's a beautiful scent. Also, I can see a bride wearing this fragrance, but try it on your skin first, okay? Make sure it's not doing anything funky. Make sure your body chemistry agrees with this fragrance because we do not want you on your wedding day to have any type of animalic, funky nothing on your skin. You're supposed to smell beautiful and pure, okay? <laughs> so that's my only issue with this fragrance, guys. I have to spray it on my clothes and it lasts forever on my clothes, okay? It projects. I get whiffs of it throughout the day when I'm wearing it on my clothes. When the breeze blows and you get that waft of it, it's so beautiful. But on my skin, my skin is not trying to have it. Like, my skin is like, no, sis, it's the ambergris for me. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's a beautiful scent. Creed Love and White. Next on the list by Givenchy is Leon Tradit. And guys, if you watched my video that I did earlier this year in January, when I did a video of fragrances that I would not repurchase. I love them, but I would not repurchase them. Now, I put this fragrance in that video and I said I wouldn't repurchase it because I wanted one of the flankers. Child, listen, I don't smelt the flankers like so many times over and over and over again. And to be honest, I would repurchase this one and not the flankers. I know. <laughs> don't stone me. Please don't stone me. I would repurchase this fragrance. After that video, I started smelling it and wearing it and then going to the store and smelling the one in the white, uh, not the white, the, um, the red bottle, the rouge one. And I also smelled the one in the black bottle. And I'm like, mm, it's this one for me, the original, okay? <laughs> so it opens up with orange blossom. There's jasmine, there's tuberose, vetiver, patchouli. This is a very classy and elegant scent, okay? It's not a super, it is sexy, 
but it's sexy in a classy, sophisticated type of way. You know what I mean? It's not like come hither. Like I'm not wearing this on a sexy date night, but if I do want to feel sexy going to brunch or just doing something throughout the day, then I'm going to pull for this fragrance, guys. It's beautiful, okay? It's the Orange Blossom and the Tuberose in here for me. It's beautiful. It almost smells a little bit peppery as well. I find that with tuberose, tuberose can either on my skin lean bubblegummy or peppery. There's another tuberose fragrance in here that leans peppery, but it's a beautiful scent, guys. And like I said, I'm taking it back. I'm allowed backsies. I would repurchase this fragrance in my collection because I love it. Givenchy Leon Tradit. Next on the list by Gucci, we have Gucci Bloom. And guys, if you love tuberose, if you love jasmine, this is a fragrance that you need, okay? This is a very sharp, to my nose, it's not a bubblegummy tuberose and it's not a peppery tuberose. It's a sharp type of tuberose. Like, I don't know how I can describe it. It smells like rubbery, but in a good way, okay? It smells like eraser. <laughs> Like, you know, back in the day when you used to be in school and you used to have to erase, like, and like when you erase really, really fast and it leaves that pink, like, residue from the eraser, that's what this smells like, but in a beautiful, beautiful way. I love this fragrance and I will always have this fragrance in my collection. For spring, it's like, this is spring in a bottle for me as well. You guys know I love tuberose, I love jasmine, and the combination of the two added with some Rangoon Creeper, which I don't know what that smells like, but I mean, we'll be gonna roll with it. I love it in this fragrance. This fragrance is very long lasting. You can purchase a body cream. They do have the Gucci Bloom body cream. And I did have that at one time, but honestly guys, it wasn't fragrant enough for me. I like my fragrances, like my fragrant lotions to be very, very fragrant. I want it to be beast mode like the fragrance, okay? Because that's the purpose of me purchasing a fragrance body cream to layer with the fragrance because I want it to be even louder than it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what it is, like why I'm always screaming at people with my scent but this is a beautiful scent guys you can't go wrong with it it's also kind of fresh like it's floral but it's fresh it's not too florally like it is like heavily floral because it's jasmine and tuberose and it's a little sharp but it just smells fresh beautiful and clean and i absolutely love it gucci bloom by gucci Next up by Tom Ford, we have Tuberose New. Guys, I was so excited for this fragrance to come out and I'm glad I have it in my collection. I don't hear a lot of people speaking of this fragrance, but this is a beautiful scent. For me, it's a spring, summer, date, night floral fragrance. This is completely night. You can wear this in a day. I've worn this in a day as well. But honestly, this is a date night fragrance in the spring, summer when it's hot. This tuberose is a different type of tuberose. It's super sharp. It's super loud. Like this is your beast mode tuberose fragrance. It lasts so long on my skin. It also has a suede note in it that adds a little kick and more depth to this fragrance that makes it so unique and so different and just a Tom Ford version of a tuberose. You know what I mean? Like Tom Ford just does rose and peach. Like he just does notes different and I just love it. Like I'm obsessed. I know that sounds so weird coming from me because I was not a Tom Ford chick, but cut to 2022, yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm so here for Tom Ford. So it opens up with the Sichuan pepper. It's very peppery and spicy. Mm, I just love this. There's jasmine, there's lily, there's tuberose, there's benzoin, there's styrax, there's cacao, suede, musk, tonka bean, and oud. Guys, listen, I done told you, this fragrance is everything. Like I said, it's a date night. People will smell you, you will get compliments. It's not for everybody though. It's not for everybody and it's not a safe flying by. Don't think, oh, it's tuberose and jasmine. Like, I like that. No, it's different, okay? She different, different. But it's the different uniqueness about it that I just love. Like, it's just everything to me. Like I said, date night, make a statement. It's everything tuberose new by Tom Ford. Okay, so I done told you guys that BDK has me in a choke hole. Like, BDK will not let me go. <laughs> Guys, Tuberose Imperial is one of my favorite fragrances from BDK. I mean, as you can see, I wear this fragrance. This is a spring summer fragrance for me. Like it's not a winter fragrance, fall fragrance. It's not an all year round type of scent. It's not a signature scent type of scent because like I said, for me, it's specific to spring and summer. Like that's the vibe. But when I tell you, this is so beautiful. It's sweet. There's vanilla in this fragrance. It has depth. There's a little bit of fruits. I believe there's peach in this fragrance as well. And this is, like I said, a sweet, bubblegummy, sophisticated tuberose. Like, guys, this fragrance is everything. 
It opens up with pink peppercorn. There's Egyptian geranium. There's peach. There's Indian tuberose. Ylang Ylang, Jasmine, um, Egyptian Jasmine, Iris, Cashmere, Sandalwood, Vanilla, Patchouli, and Benzoin. Do you hear all those notes? This is a very different, unique, complex version of a white floor fragrance, and I am obsessed. It's so beautiful. It doesn't project as much, but people will smell you. You will live in your scent bubble. It's not a beast mode. It's not smacking anybody in the face. You know what I mean? Like, she's very humble, but you will smell her. She lasts long on the skin. Overspray, layer, spray it in your, you know, your unscented cream if you have to. It's a beautiful scent. And if you're interested, you can save 20% using my discount code, thegreat20, on soavantgarde.com and get you this fragrance, guys. If you love tuberose, you love jasmine, you love a white floral fragrance, you need this. It smells so beautiful and very unique to any other tuberose fragrance that I have on this list or in my collection, period. BDK, tuberose, imperial. Really quickly, guys, if it seems like my mouth is watering, <laughs> it's because I'm chewing on my ginger chunks. Guys, I'm obsessed. Like, do you like ginger? Like, I love smelling like ginger. I love eating ginger. I love ginger in my water, like ginger and mango water. It's everything and the chunks guys get your whole life okay now let's get back to the video next on the list by nishane is hundred silent ways and i need a hundred loud ways for me to say how much i love this fragrance okay this fragrance is a love a deep love for me i am obsessed this is so beautiful guys like you don't even understand how much i love smelling this fragrance even when I'm not wearing it, like I just love to come in my closet and stand in front of my perfume wall and just smell. <laughs> I just like picking up fragrances and smelling them. And this one is one that I just casually come in here, pop off the top and just smell it. Like it just smells so divine. It's beautiful. Now I will say that it is very similar to Black Opium by YSL. But listen, <laughs> hear me out. It's a very classy, sophisticated type of sexy black opium. You know what I mean? Because black opium is sexy and I have it in my collection and I do love it. But that's more like a come hither, here we go, we about to get it popping sexy. This is a, oh, you're taking me out to a fancy restaurant. Then we're going shopping and we're going to have like drinks somewhere that type of sexy you know what i mean like we're gonna ease into it type of sexy it's so beautiful let me tell you the notes tuberose peach mandarin uh there's gardenia there's oris there's jasmine vanilla sandalwood and vetiver i want to say this was not planned guys i just wanted to choose floral fragrances for spring but it seems like there's a trend here with tuberose and jasmine in a lot of these fragrances and like i said a lot of you that's always telling me that you're not fans of rose then this list is for you, honey, because there's a lot of white florals on this list. Like I said, very sexy, floral, deep, fruity, vanilla, sand, creamy sandalwood. Like it's everything. So many layers, so much depth to this fragrance and I absolutely love it. Now, you can save 20% with this fragrance on soavantgarde.com using my discount code THEGREAT20. Get this fragrance, guys. It smells amazing. Now, I will say... If you don't, like if you hate that black opium scent profile, still try this, but don't blind buy it. Now, if you love white florals, if you loved the black opium scent profile, then I feel like this is a safe blind buy. It's everything. Everything, it's a floral scent that for me, I wear on dates. Because a lot of times when I'm going on a date with Babe, I need something loud. I need something like punchy, something like, mm, you know what I mean? Like in your face. And a lot of times the floral fragrances don't give me that. I mainly save my floral fragrances for like brunch or daytime type of dates. But this can be taken into night, like all night, the whole night. Okay, you feel me? <laughs> Hundred Silent Ways by Nishane. Next up by Armani, we have My Way Intense, honey. The Intense. It's not the original, it's the Intense. Wait, can you see it? <laughs> it's the intense and for me the intense is the way to go now this is fun it's flirty it's easy it's playful i just love this fragrance it's a very sweet bubblegummy tuberose like i don't see anybody not liking this like i mean if anything they're gonna say it just 
doesn't really do anything for them. And I'm not gonna say that that's a lie because this fragrance is not anything groundbreaking. It's not anything unique, but for me, for my purposes and my lifestyle, I love to throw fragrances like this on. Like you just throw it on, you know what I mean? Like you're running errands and you just wanna smell sweet and playful and it just smells good. Like it just, I just enjoy smelling it. I'm not wearing this fragrance to anybody else but me. You know what I mean? Like you have fragrances like that in your collection where you love how it smells. You don't give a hoot about a compliment that day, you know, or trying to be sexy for somebody, for your bae, whatever. Like you're wearing it because you like how it smells. It makes you feel playful, fun, and uplifted. And that's what this fragrance does for me. Armani My Way Intense. Next on the list by Valentino, we have Donna, born in Roma. And like I said to you guys in a prior video, Donna is having her moments, okay? I love this fragrance. I've loved her since day one. Super, super, super sweet jasmine and vanilla fragrance, guys. It smells so beautiful. There's black currant, there's bergamot, there's jasmine, um, absolute, there's jasmine sandback, there's jasmine tea bourbon vanilla and wood essence she's loud she's sweet she's sexy she's everything valentino donna born in roma next on the list we have houdini <laughs> guys this is armani Privé uh, rouge malachite now the reason why i call this fragrance houdini is because sometimes it's here and sometimes it's not sometimes you see it and sometimes you don't like what is it like is, is it discontinued is it not is the bottle changing like this fragrance just has me like oh i'm so confused because i want to put this on so many more lists but i know you guys like me talking about fragrances that you can actually like get right now <laughs> and i feel that so i'm trying to help y'all out but i did see this on the armani website but it had a gold cap but it is rouge malachite okay so i don't know maybe they're just changing the packaging because there's some with the gold cap and then there's like mine with the marble cap. So I have no, like no idea. I just know this fragrance is Houdini. Sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't, but it is a beautiful tuberose bomb, okay? Tuberose in the top, tuberose in the middle, and tuberose in the base. If you love tuberose, if you're a tuberose chick, you need this. It's so sweet and creamy, but in a beautiful, sophisticated, classy way, this fragrance is everything. It can also be a signature scent. I can see you wearing this fragrance all year round, although it's a floral fragrance, like a white floral fragrance. I think she can stand up in the winter. Honey, yes. <laughs> like you wanna smell this all year round. So let me tell you the notes. Tuberose, sage, pink pepper, orange blossom, ylang ylang, jasmine sandback, cashmere, benzoin, tuberose, amber, and again, more tuberose. Give me the tuberose, but give it to me like this, like the fragrances on this list. Give me a nice, sweet, creamy, bubblegummy, rubbery tuberose. Don't give me anything that smells animalic on my skin. I can't deal. I just can't deal. This is a beautiful, beautiful scent, guys. The lasting power, I want to say it gives me like seven hours tops. Like it's not super long lasting, but it's not horrible. You know what I mean? It is everything. Like honestly, guys, this fragrance is so, so beautiful. If I had to wear a signature scent, it would be one of these as well. Like there's another one I would wear too. We're gonna talk about it soon, but this is just so classy, so classic. It's beautiful. Armani Rouge Malachite. Next up by Louis Vuitton, we have Etoile Filante. And guys, this is my first Louis Vuitton fragrance and I absolutely love it. And when I tell you, this is one of my most, hear me when I tell you, one of my most complimented fragrances in my collection. Whenever, ever, do you see how many times I've worn this? You see this dent? Each and every time I've worn this fragrance, I've gotten a compliment, okay? Every time I wear this fragrance, I receive compliments. Now, it's not for everybody. It's different. It's a beautiful floral scent, but honestly, it's not for everybody because I've heard mixed reviews. But for me, it is everything. It is a must in my collection. Like, I will repurchase this always i cannot wait to wear this in the spring and summer it's a beautiful classy different unique scent it's fresh it's clean but it's also super sweet and fruity like it's everything i love this she doesn't get attention like her um her good girlfriend uh at trap rev 
which I have in my collection and I love that one as well. That one is a crowd favorite. That one is very popular and for good reason because it's a beautiful scent. But honestly, Etoile is that girl. Strawberry, Magnolia, Jasmine, Osmanthus, and White Musk. Like I said, beautiful scent, guys. It's not a safe blind buy. Smell it on paper, smell it on your skin. Um, it's just a vibe. And if you can vibe with this, you're absolutely going to love this. Etoile Filante by Louis Vuitton. Okay, so I told you guys that BDK has me in a chokehold. Last summer, it was Killian. Killian had me in a, a tight chokehold. When I tell y'all, every time I was going out, like date night, brunch, whatever, it was Killian. Like, I was always reaching for a Killian fragrance. Guys, this is good girl going bad, okay? I mean, what more can I say? It's a beautiful white floral, creamy, fresh, and green scent. It is everything compliment getting i have the body cream i layer get my whole entire life this fragrance is everything it opens up with osmanthus there's jasmine there's may rose there's indian tuberose narcissus amber and cedar it's floral it's green it's fresh it's creamy it's just everything i love this fragrance and another like date night brunch fancy i'm putting it on face booming hair popping outfit everything it's a good girl gone bad type of day or night i'm telling you it's everything you can't go wrong killian's good girl gone bad okay y'all so when i tell you that this narciso rodriguez fragrance smells like everything like anything you want to smell like that's good it's in this bottle guys i am obsessed Y'all don't even understand how good this fragrance smells. Like seriously, like I'm not even being extra. We all know I'm extra, 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 read all about it. But right now, I'm just being so real with you guys. It smells like everything. Guys, it's so beautiful. Let me tell you something. The other Narciso Rodriguez fragrances in my collection, they all have that Narciso DNA, which I love. Okay, like I can't stress that enough to you. I love the Narciso DNA. I love that white musk. I just love how his fragrances are composed, okay? Now, when you smell one, I mean, you can pick up the DNA in the others, although the notes will be different. Like, Floor Musk has more rose. Uh, you know, one has more powder. You know, yada, yada, yada. This one, guys, this smells boozy to me. It smells, it just smells like everything. Like you guys have to, like you must. It is a must. It's mandatory. I'm giving you guys homework. You need to try to get your nose on this, okay? Get your nose on this fragrance and let me know how you feel. Because for me, it is a oh hell yes. <laughs> it is a yes, 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 yes. It smells so amazing. Plum. And I think it's the plum that has me going literally crazy. Plum, pink pepper, bergamot, musk, rose, tuberose, and vanilla. Now, with every good, sometimes there's a bad, okay? Sometimes there's a bad. Now, when I first wore this fragrance, as you can see, I wore this fragrance. You see that little dent in there? I did wear this fragrance. It lasted on me for so long. I don't know if it was my body chemistry that day, but then the second time I wore the fragrance, it didn't last on me that long. And I was very disappointed, highly, highly disappointed in this fragrance because it smells too good. It smells too good not to be on me the entire time. But guys, let me tell you something. I am going to work with this fragrance. By the time you see this fragrance in another video, I'm gonna be down to here. Why? Because I'm gonna have to decant this, okay? I'm gonna have to decant this fragrance. And when I'm wearing it, I'm gonna have to spray it in my Eusterin and get it all over my body, make my own Musk Noir Rose body cream, and then go ham on my body and go ham on my clothes because it smells way too good, okay? This can be a signature scent. Oh, this can be an everyday scent. You know what? Let me just go ahead and stop playing and spray this on my skin. Guys, I love this. I love it. I just love, love, love it. It's so beautiful to me. It's the plum and the rose. There's tuberose and vanilla. Guys, it's everything. Like me in a bottle, it's everything. I absolutely love it. Um, would I wear this on a date? No. 
I'm wearing this to the mall. I'm running errands. I'm shopping. I would wear this to brunch. It depends. Like, it has to perform better on me. Because like I said, the second time I wore it, I was, I was disappointed in the performance. The first time I wore it, it stayed on me. So I'm going to have to really work with this. Try to find a body cream. Try to figure out, crack the code on why it didn't perform on me the way that it did the first time. But I will say this. The scent is everything. It's worth decanting. It's worth decanting and topping myself off every now and again because it is everything Musk Noir Rose by Narciso Rodriguez. What's a spring floral video without flower head by Byredo? What is it? It's nothing because flower head is the ultimate floral fragrance. If you love florals, you need this. Now, do I think it's for everybody? No, because it is very floral and some people might say it smells a little vintage, but for me, it's everything. Angelica, cranberry, lemon, jasmine sandback, tuberose. There's green notes. There's rose, ambergris, and suede. Now, there's ambergris in this fragrance like there is in the Creed Love and White. But it doesn't get that funky sting on me that the Creed Love and White does, which I can only spray on my clothes. This I can spray on my skin. As you can see, I've worn this fragrance. I also have the body cream to this fragrance. So I love it. Like, this is everything. It's another daytime brunch, spring flowers, trees, you know, picnics in the park. It's that type of fragrance for me. And I love it. Flower Head by Byredo. Okay, guys, so we're down to the last fragrance that we're going to speak about today of my floral fragrances for spring. Now, this one right here is a beast, okay? This one right here is so compliment getting. This one right here lasts so long. This is one of my favorite tuberose fragrances ever, okay? Ever, 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 ever. And it is none other than Chinatown by Bond number nine. Now, she is not, I repeat, she is not for everybody. She is not a safe blind buy. So it opens up with peach blossom, there's bergamot, gardenia, honey, tuberose, peony, orange blossom, patchouli, cedar, vanilla, sandalwood, cardamom, and guyagwood. Now, I told you guys earlier that I had another peppery style tuberose fragrance on the list and it's chinatown this is a peppery but not like when i say peppery it's spicy like it smells like black pepper is in this fragrance does that make any sense it's so beautiful guys when i say it's creamy it's florally it's spicy it lasts so long compliments i have the body cream to this okay now you guys are always like sending me body creams for the bond fragrances like i know that there's a body cream now for um greenwich village which i use my baccarat <laughs> body cream for greenwich village just so i can you know get the most wear out my baccarat like honestly that baccarat lotion i wear it with my trazon by uh electimus i wear it with my burberry her like it's just a staple body cream for me so i definitely pair it with my greenwich village as well so I also don't have the body cream to Madison Avenue. I have two body creams from Bond Number no. 9, right? It's Chinatown is one, and the other one is Central Park West because I just love those peppery, spicy floral fragrances. Honestly, Central Park West should have been on this list as well, but I'm going to save her for another video. Don't worry. But this one right here, guys, Chinatown, I love, 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 love. Like I said, not safe. Everybody does not feel this fragrance some people have said some mean things about my good girl chinatown some mean mean things but you know what it's all good because she works with me she works for me she works with me if you smell this fragrance um smell it on your skin okay spray it on your skin okay <laughs> do not just spray this on a paper and walk away spray it on your skin i can't say it enough it's beautiful i love it for the spring summer sleigh okay i've heard people wear this in the fall as well you can wear this in the early fall but for me it's just like a spring summer this is date night okay date night like i said i don't have that many floral fragrances that i wear at night this is one of them guys sexy date night even though it's a white floral fragrance it's beautiful chinatown will be a repurchase and a repurchase and a repurchase okay and i purchased it with my own coins and I love it. Chinatown by Bond number nine. 
Okay guys, so we've come to the end of the video. Leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some of your favorite floral fragrances that you're gonna be wearing this spring and summer. Let's talk about it below like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI The Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.